I get down in the dumps because this man, you have to say, oh, snap out of it. <laughs> yeah. Also, have great powers of concentration on Very much so. Yes. That's, that's very, very much so. so. Saturn doesn't allow you to do nothing less. Saturn will allow us to stray. Yeah. It does mm -hmm. not allow us to stray. If we pick mm -hmm. a focus, mm -hmm. sad, if we even attempt to stray from it, Saturn will make us feel guilty about it. But that would make a person a, a, a one-track mind in the sense, though. Right. Is right? Because it seems to be, I don't know, it seems like uh, with myself, mm -hmm. uh, when I set my mind to do something, and if I'm really determined I'm going to do it, it's almost impossible to stop me. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. For, for this reason, Capricorns, for the most part, mm -hmm. mainly the uh, first half of their life, mm -hmm. are not known as being social animals. Yeah. We're not the social mm -hmm. animal. We'll get invited, you know, we'll be invited to a function and we'll say, no, I'm sorry, I got something else to do. Mm -hmm. It's really important, you know, I'll have yeah. to catch you the next time. Mm -hmm. exactly. you know? I remember being a young person coming up and going to parties and stuff. I used to like to go to parties, but mm -hmm. I wasn't a dancer. Okay. I couldn't dance, but I had buddies who could dance, man. Okay. I used to always wanted to dance like some of my mm -hmm. friends that I grew up with. Because back in the day, you'd get clean and you go to the mm -hmm. parties. Okay. Then, But I, I couldn't dance, so... They would take me in the bathroom somewhere and teach me the steps. Teach you some steps, <laughs> right? Because mm -hmm. you had to dance back in the exactly. day. Yeah. You had to be with mm -hmm. the ladies, and that's you know, right. the young girls. And that. You had to dance, and right. I couldn't dance. Yeah. So they had to go in there and practice with me in the bathroom, yeah. so I could get the steps there. Mm -hmm. And I come out, you know, and I could I could hang with the boys then. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. That's the way. As long as you had a structured teaching. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, as long as you had a structured teaching. And they go teaching. one, two. You need to be careful yeah. for me. Though. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> really quick. Um, <laughs> Really quick, I'm going to make a note on the Bible while Roger is on the Bible. Okay. Uh, there's different ages within the Bible. We are coming out of the Piscean Age. Right. That's why a lot of religions and a lot of institutions uh, disavow astrology. Because, see, Pisces is ruled by Neptune. And although Neptune is extremely spiritual, right. Neptune is also very cloudy, as, as Roger always says. Very cloudy. It has a veil of, of a mist sort of uh, over the eyes of, of, of those who are Neptunian or Piscean right. so that they don't really accept reality. Okay. So you have this age, this last 2,000 years we lived in, uh, most people didn't want to accept um, the, the old Taurian religion and the old, um, the old Gemini religion of, yeah. us, of astrology. But um, here, right in the Bible, during the ancient Old Testament, there was an age called the age of Capricorn right. in which that's the age where um, the book of the law, the book of Leviticus, the books that Moses wrote where right. if an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, if, you, if, if you punched me in the face, right. I was supposed to punch you harder. I didn't know yeah. we had an age. Exactly. That's right. We had a Capricorn age. It mm -hmm. goes every 2,000 years. The scapegoat. That's right. Am I right? Every 2,000 years. 2000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where the scapegoat come, an actual oh. goat. That's right. A sacrificial goat that was delivered up to Yahweh was um, all of the sins of okay. the people of, the, of, of put Israel upon the goat. put upon the goat and sent into the wilderness, the scapegoat. Mm -hmm. That's how we get that. Time. And that's yes. how we have it. Because you notice, mm -hmm. as Capricorns, we tend to bear everybody's burden. Yeah. We bear yes. not only our own, you know. That's the true. Sleepless nights, we sit Responsibility. there. Responsibility. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's Capricorn. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's wait till you hear this. Yeah, let's, okay. Let's move on so we all right. can get to those, uh, let's go those next celebrity Next one here. That's yeah. right. Okay, the next one I'd like to get into is Psalm 8. Okay. Okay. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained. Mm -hmm. Again, it's saying the Father's work. Mm -hmm. We are to follow the Father's work. Okay. This is directly telling us, as you said earlier in the show, it is God's roadmap. It is right. his roadmap. It is laid see, out for us. The thing I I, um, I spoke to some friends of mine, a Christian and and Muslim, and they were saying, well, the, the problem I had with astrology is that some people worship astrology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you shouldn't worship astrology no more than you worship somebody who is a leader or mm -hmm. you know exactly. a president or a king exactly. or whatever. Mm -hmm. you, you should worship God. Exactly. exactly. You should you worship, worship God. God. Exactly. But astrology to me is like a roadmap. Well, see the Muslims, the uh, or Mohammedans, the Muslims, mm -hmm. uh, those of Al Islam, uh, their very religion, their very banner shows their connection with astrology through the the astrological expertise of the ancient Arabs. Um, they their their um, symbol is a crescent moon and star. star crescent. And that mm -hmm. crescent moon stands for their um, their knowledge of the lunar cycles, the twenty eight mansions of the moon. And that's that star stands for the bright and, and the bright and shining morning star, which is the planet Venus. Mm -hmm. And the planet Venus is attributed to what color, Roger? 
Uh, it, well, there are actually a There's couple two, colors. Right. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're, tri they're, plant they're attributed, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. to pink mm -hmm. and also green. green yeah. And green is the color of choice by the Islamic world, uh, even today. Mm -hmm. Everything is connected. Exactly. Everything is connected. Yeah. Correct. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on to Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night sheweth knowledge. Okay, before I go on in Psalm 19, let's pick apart that last line okay. there. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night sheweth knowledge. Okay? Mm -hmm. Loosely translated, during the day, you take the knowledge that you have within you. You share it. Speak of it. Mm -hmm. As night falls and the stars and the firmament come out, it's time to learn. It's time to learn. It's time really? to learn. It's That's time right. to look up and start learning, start charting. That's right. Is that what the ancients did? Yes, they did. Uh, yes, they did. No they question They studied about at it. night. They studied at night. That was when they did their studies. Mm -hmm. I understand in the Egyptian mystery schools, I um, learned it from Dr. Ben, mm -hmm. he said that you had to go to school 25 or 30 years sometimes Correct. in order to be a master. Correct. You said that, what's the yeah. last word you said? Yeah. How many, you said 25 or what? 25 or 30 years. Guess who went to the mystery schools? Yeah. Guess who studied in ancient Kemet, Egypt, and also in ancient Tibet? Christ. Christ. Guess himself. who was yeah. an astrologer? Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. did, did Moses also? Oh, all of them. Very much so. All of them. They studied the, the Hebrew Kabbalah, which is a very a book steeped in uh, esoteric knowledge and mm -hmm. astrological uh, wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, wow. Because of the fact that Moses was raised by an Egyptian or Comedian family, he was well-versed in all of these sciences. So he knew. Well-versed. He knew yes. well. That's why, like, mm -hmm. like Daryl mentioned, uh, at the parting of the Red Sea, mm -hmm. he followed the lunar orb. He knew what, you know, when the strengths were there, when the weaknesses were there, and exactly how to follow them. You remember the old uh, Steve Rees, Hercules movies, yes. the Gladiator movies? I yes. used to love those kind of movies as mm -hmm. a kid coming up. They, I, I remember in, in a lot of the, the old films, they would have uh, portions where the, the king or, or, or the emperor or the ruler mm -hmm. of the day would consult astrologers. Exactly. Yes. That's so right. that was... That was that fact. Was, that was, that was, was actually mm -hmm. fact, yes. Mm -hmm. was, that, that was common. Is, that is, that's yes. right. Um, uh, the Hindus, in, in, uh, the, um, the Indians, mm -hmm. okay, the right. uh, East Indians, right. they also consulted, I mean, in everything, in every aspect. Yes. In fact, there's a, there's a film now, I believe it's just been released on, on videotape now, uh, called uh, Kama Sutra. We won't get into, obviously, what the Kama Sutra is about, okay. but the, the uh, movie in and of itself portrays the kings, okay, of East India. And it showed that before he would do anything, he said, Sir, come and tell me, what, the, what do the stars say for me? And this was fact. Yes. Really? This was fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, 